Football brings you the divisional round of the NFL playoffs and is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Commanders and the Bucks under the lights on Sunday night. We're about 20 miles from the Gulf of Mexico at Raymond James Stadium, just north of downtown Tampa, as we bring you the NFL on EA Sports. This evening, the camper to this divisional round. It's the Washington Commanders and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So glad you're having us in for this divisional round matchup. Mike Tirico along with Greg Olson. Partner, playing in front of the home crowd. That is something you get when you're... Bucks offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. They'll search for the first points of this game as they begin the drive on first and ten. Here's carry number one for Rashad White. What more could you ask for on first down? Nice run of eight, setting up second and short. They'll look to throw. He'll find his running back, White. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. Third and a yard. Slot man in motion left. He'll try and throw for it on third and one. In trouble, and down he goes. If you're going to take a sack, you just can't add to it by taking such a massive loss on top of it. Understand when the pocket breaks down, move up, cut your losses. Now, not only do you lose that down, but now you face a big uphill battle if you want to extend this drive. So, the Tampa Bay offense set to work for the first time in this one. They had a disappointing quick three and out on that opening drive. So, they'll try it again here in a scoreless game with first and ten. Here we go, here we go. That's Palmer, the man in motion. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Open man. Downfield is Fryer move. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Back to throw. Escaping the danger, throwing and completing. A pickup there of 25 yards. Good for a Buccaneers first down. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. I think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often. So that might be his first target. And I don't think it's going to be his last. He's going to keep it himself. And he will score. Touchdown, Tampa. When you think back to their first possession of this game, Mike, it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. They get the ball back for possession two. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and they come away with six. So that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession. The Buccaneers offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. The lead sits at four, so they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. Go. 
He'll start this on the ground. And here's White trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of one. Here comes the blitz as he looks to throw. Off he goes. Oh, and they will finally track him down inside the 40-yard line. This is an element to his game that we don't necessarily spend a lot of time talking about. He's not known as a traditional runner at the quarterback position. But when he has some space like he had here, he is more than capable of not only converting first downs, but picking up big chunk plays. He'll drop to throw. He'll get rid of it and complete it. And he'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. That's just such a tough throw. I mean, that's all arm. Being able to get your body turned and throw back across your body. I mean, it's one thing if you're just throwing it a couple yards to a check down. But in this case, he's still willing and able to push the ball down. That one, take it in. Mike Evans. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Some play by the quarterback. He got flushed by the rush. But Greg made the right choice and ends up with a touchdown pass. The question always is for these quarterbacks, Mike, in this situation, how long does he remain a passer or then does he just tuck it down and become a runner? I think he does this perfectly, extends the play as long as possible, gives time for his receiver to uncover and results in a touchdown. The Bucks offense and their quarterback ready to go once more they built a nice lead for themselves here they'll try to add to that beginning with first down ready, break. Let's go. Check out. right away they'll set up to throw that's caught Trey Palmer and no chance to turn and go that one good for just a couple Look him up on a second down and eight. Off the play fit, he'll look to throw. Laying out, and he made the catch. What a play. First and ten. Now they'll set up to throw. They'll set up the screen to White. Whoa. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. And now you can see they're really getting in rhythm in this two-minute drive. Now, after that last completion, Mike, they cross midfield. Now the mindset goes to, our. Right, we got to come away with some points. They've got a quarterback who's in complete control, and they got to see if they can finish this thing off. He keeps it himself. And he's out of bounds, but they are in the red zone out inside the 20. In the red zone now. He'll drop to throw. And he'll take it on in. Mike Evans. Touchdown, Buccaneers. He is shining in this postseason spotlight. That's his second touchdown of the game. And that is number two. Greg, he is off to some kind of start of this one. Two quarters and two receiving touchdowns. Mike, this is one of those situations where as a defensive coordinator, you've got to give your group an answer because right now they don't have one for this guy. to throw here to begin the drop taking off
A huge play just before the half. Timeout here, Tampa Bay. That is their second as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go until halftime. To the air now on first and ten. He connects downfield to Torch. And they're going to get this ball down to the 20 yard line. That's Palmer, the man in motion. He'll look to throw. That is going to be called in. He's got it. Rashad White. Touchdown, Tampa. You hear coaches, you hear commentators. Everybody talks about that middle four, Mike. The final two minutes of the second quarter and the first two minutes of the third quarter. Here they are now. They go down and they steal a late touchdown to end the half. Remember, they're going to get the ball first coming out of the break. Throwing now from the gun. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. Here's first and 10. Man is open, middle of the field. It is caught. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. Unbalanced look here to the right side on first and 10. On play action, he'll set up to throw. That is caught. What a throw. Pat Fryer move. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. That is yet another touchdown pass. What a game he is having, throwing his fourth touchdown score of the game. It's one thing, Mike, to throw four touchdowns, but it's really the ease in which he's carved this defense up that has stood out the most. The defense has had no answers for this passing game, and he has just completely had his way with this group. Drive begins with a run by White. He'll work this ahead for two, maybe three. The veteran Bobby Wagner in there on the stop. Second and seven. They'll go again with White. And this will be a Bucks first down as the tackle's made at the 35-yard line. Well, after not having much success in the first half, they're able to get something going on the ground here to start the third quarter. I'd love to see the play caller mix in some play action, mix in some pass game. That should open up some of these holes for better situations to run the ball. Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second and long. It's second down and 12. This one complete to Palmer. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. On first down, it's White. And a good run there. Gonna get him five yards. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. They send Firemuth, the tight end, in motion. He's gonna run it. It is a big play for the Buccaneers. 31 yards. And this 
point, it just gets frustrating for the defense, right? I mean, you've been watching this guy make big play after big play all game long, not only on the quarterback-designed runs, but it's the scrambles that can really break the back of the defense. And he will score again. Mike Evans. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Saving his best for the playoffs. His third touchdown of the game. And that is the hat trick. What a game. His third touchdown reception of this one. And nothing they've done to slow him down has worked, Mike. This defense, they're throwing multiple guys at him. They're playing man. They're playing zone. It doesn't matter. This guy is having his way, and he's having a day. On the give, it's White. Nice job finding the seam. Gain of about nine. Just a yard short of that first down. A good spot here. Second and a yard. That's Palmer, the man in motion. Blitz coming. He'll throw it. Throwing downfield, right side, and it's caught. Set to go now on first and ten. On the handoff, it's White. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. We'll try again. It's second and ten. And that is incomplete. He was looking for Rashad White out of the backfield. And it's going to bring up a third down. Let's go now. Track 60. They'll throw out of the gun. He'll air one out for Palmer. He's got it. And he'll be taken down. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. They'll run with White. And that big offensive line clearing space. He's in. Rashad White. Touchdown, Tampa. He is shining in this postseason spotlight. That's his second touchdown of the game. We might need a calculator before this one is done. It has been one-sided, and the route rolls on, Greg. Absolutely, Mike, and they just keep piling on the points. I mean, this offensive play caller, he's saying, it's never enough. I'm going to try to score with every possession, and we've seen him do that all game long. give and here's white and he's going to be brought down up past the 45 on first down right back to white and he'll get this one across midfield brought down after a pickup of a half dozen So, a win here for the Buccaneers. They are moving on as the number one seed. Victory means they locked out another home date next weekend as they look to punch their ticket to the Super Bowl.